Hello and welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday, your weekly source for the best tips and tools for pain relief and feeling unstoppable. I'm Alicia and today I am going to show you something I am really excited about. This one I need pretty much every day and I'm pretty sure every human on the planet could benefit from this particular technique because we're going to target the SEM scalenes, upper traps, and levator scapula, um, which get really tight from looking down. So if you are on a computer or a phone or you have kids or you do anything down here, you could probably benefit from this one. This is an amazing technique to help relieve everything from grip issues related to nerve communication problems from, from the neck to the hand. Uh, it's going to open up the brachial plexus area, the thoracic outlet area, so if you have thoracic outlet syndrome, this is an amazing one to open all that up and basically just help your neck kind of feel like it's floating more on top of your head instead of, instead of like a, a bowling ball that wants to fall down and forward all the time. So for today's uh, technique, you're going to need a lacrosse ball. Um, you could use really anything like it, but my favorite preferred ball is a lacrosse ball because it's hard, but it has just a little bit of give and it's grippy, so you're not going to slide off of it. A tennis ball really won't work that well. Um, definitely not a golf ball or anything slick. So get yourself one of these and follow along. So in addition to a ball, you're going to need a pole or doorway. Um, a wall will not work, but you need something basically that you can maneuver around and um, definitely a pole is ideal. So a gym is a good location to do this technique. And basically what we're targeting here, I'm going to show you before I get on there, is all that junk right there. Now, I don't know if you can see it on me, it's always really tight, but these kind of like veins start to pop up or the, um, not really veins actually, the, the muscle and the tight fascia, the bands of fascia tend to pop up. Um, so we're going for right there, not over it. If you go too far back, you're gonna basically just get the traps back there and it won't be as effective. Um, so we're looking to hook this stuff right here. One of the really exciting things about this particular technique is it very accurately mimics what I do with my private clients, which is um, really pinning that fascia with my body weight and then coaching them through movement. You can actually mimic that with this one. So you're going to get an awesome result. Um, and that's very exciting because there aren't a lot of techniques you can do on your own that do that. As with any area of the body, make sure you're not on any nerves. There are a lot of nerves here. Um, and you want to make sure you're not on them. So there's good pain and bad pain. And basically the good pain is that kind of like tight, muscly, fascially like knotted up stuff. Um, and that bad pain that you want to watch out for, you don't want to be on, is anything sharp shooting or electrical. That's going to be a sure sign you're near a nerve and back off immediately. Should be fine. Um, but you shouldn't have that trouble. But I just like to say that in case you think that's normal, it's not normal. Okay, so positioning is incredibly important on this one, and I want you to get it right so you get the best results. So uh, we're basically not near the collarbone. I mean, we're right, you actually, the ball is kind of right up against it, but there's absolutely no weight on the collarbone. The weight is kind of going back into what is under that trap, which is the uh, scalenes and the levator. Um, and all those neck muscles, the SCM attachment, um, they're under the trap. So hopefully you can see that on that one. And then my arm is going to reach back behind me. And then I'm going to use my head to stretch everything. And what that looks like basically is, and these aren't going to be humongous movements, but you're going to take your neck to the right away from that ball. And then up is really good. And then I like putting slack back into it. And you might need to reposition the ball, see if there's a better spot. It might slip out, that's okay. But really like taking your head away from that ball and then back into it in a way. And then also, you know, don't be afraid to use arm movements. So you want the arm reaching, but you might want to rotate a little bit or try that arm behind your back position. That's going to actually help you get the scaling more than anything. But the idea mainly is to use your head away from that ball and then maybe like looking up or looking down and then tilting it to get that stretch. 
So the idea is we want to grab all this, it should actually be really red right now, and stretch it away from where we're pinning it. So move that ball around and play around with different spots to see what you get there. And, and by moving it, I literally mean you may only need to move it a centimeter or a millimeter, like very small um, adjustments can make a big difference in this area of your body. Um, and all of the spots that are tender and tight are worthy of a few minutes of your time stretching it out. Um, and by few minutes, I mean maybe 20 seconds uh, to 30 seconds a piece. Right now, I'm kind of moving the ball back into that trap a little bit more. And so I'm getting more of that um, trap and everything that goes up into the uh, kind of the back of the head area, the occiput area. So if you tend to get migraines or you have neck pain, that's going to be something you will want to do with this one. As always, I hope this has been helpful, and if you want the full blog post that goes along with this video, you can click the link right below. It'll take you to the blog mobilitymastery.com. And if you liked it, like it and share it, and I will see you next time on Mobility Mastery Monday. I'm floating, I'm floating, my head is so windless, I'm floating. <laughs>